Maybe you, maybe you thought you said ketchup, but you said juice. You Just asked me ketchup when I was over there. say grace. Oh, oh, oh. Let me say grace. Right? It's not a fancy dinner, but it's three courses. Pineapple. Ginger? Lil D is like, can y'all please pray? Yes, please. Daddy, I'm living my okay. best life. <laughs> I ain't going back and forth with you. All right, say grace. Somebody say grace. With the chimp and the bug. With the chimp and the bug. Yeah. So when she does that, okay. next time you memorize that line, that'll check her. That's what she just did. Right. Oh, okay. That's what she, she did. When she checked you, she did. <laughs> right. right. That's the whole point. What? Everyone's <laughs> getting your funny. So I said, and she checked you, and you don't need to be checked. Because <laughs> she's the one that was at fault, right? have to ask her to give you that attention, you know, an acknowledgement. You're gonna have to say that. So earlier, Daddy and I were in the bed, and um, he asked Little D to go check on my mom, and I told him not to, and Daddy and I got into a conflict. How did you feel? How did you feel, Little D, when you were going to go do what Daddy said, and then I told you not to do it? Fine. You feel fine? Yeah. Do you, you remember don't, what happened? You don't remember what happened. You remember when Daddy said to go check on my mom, and then what happened? And mommy said, "What did mommy say?" No. Uh huh. Mhm. Mm Were you confused? Yep. You so how did you feel? Confused? Yeah. So say I felt confused. I felt confused. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that I can say something. Okay, Sigh. okay, uh, Sai, how did you feel what? when Daddy and I had that conflict? What? What I it? felt comfortable. Yeah. Really? Because you guys resolved it. Okay, Do you were you counting on us to resolve it? Not really. Okay, so if we didn't resolve it, how would you have felt? Um, uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure. I, what if we stayed mad and we didn't resolve I it? I would feel puckered. 
Okay. What does that mean? Like uncomfortable, like nothing, like Come on, man. We, it wouldn't feel like it was before. Like, like we were just laughing. Okay, Derek. Yeah. The the objective of this exercise is when one person is talking, everybody else has to be quiet. Okay. Okay. So say that again, Sai. I feel like it wouldn't it wouldn't be as comfortable to just hang out and relax. So it would have caused you to feel like tense. Tense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So confused, <laughs> tense. How would you feel? How did you feel when Daddy and I had that conflict? Um, I didn't see it as a problem until Daddy said it, something. Well, when you said it was a problem, I was like, ooh, he has a point. When I said, um, when you said corrected me in front of Derek. Yeah. Yeah. So how did, I mean, I, you gave him two different orders. Mm -hmm. and I guess. To him, I mean, he probably won't realize it now, but you told him to do something, and then you're telling him no, not to do something. Uh -huh. And even, I mean, even though he doesn't really understand what that that means, I guess it, it, it makes sense, you know. Uh -huh. I guess. I mean, y'all did resolve it, like in front of him. Like you, you said you understood why, or Daddy understood why you told him not to go uh -huh. but i guess it's the principle behind that uh -huh. so that's what get, let it made it more comfortable we all resolved it fast so right like but a, what if we what if we didn't what, what if, if i had argued um that was creepy <laughs> how would it feel awkward how it just left uh -huh. you were left uh -huh. yeah and did what <laughs> gone in my room and did what would you have thought about it if you left and gone in your room? Would it, would it stay with you? Would it bother you? If um, your parents had a beef and they still arguing it, about it? I would have been more upset that it ruined the mood. Because uh -huh. uh -huh. we were all in here. Uh -huh. And that's like, okay, uh -huh. uh -huh. time to go. Yeah, so you, little, it caused Little D to feel confused. It caused Sai to feel tense. It caused you to feel awkward enough that you would leave because you're melancholies. Melancholies retreat. And... The mood would have been changed, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. So well, what? Honestly, I would have felt awkward because with you guys, sometimes I don't. I, I get awkward when you guys have arguments in front of us. I don't know if y'all care or if y'all do it on purpose or if y'all is just in the moment. But sometimes I don't like it. Uh huh. I don't know if you want us to listen or if you want us to stay or you want us to leave or. I mean, if you want us to leave, you'll you ask us. You uh -huh. tell us. I mean, when you were younger, we told you to leave. Yeah, I know. When you were little. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> Many uh, times. Yeah. Where the door's just locked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll come back later. <laughs> uh, but have, have you, through the years, do we do that a lot? Well, I think you guys make it, it's a healthy argument. <clears throat> and it's, is that you guys don't and curse, so, so you guys don't disrespect mm -hmm. each other. So, so you see us in conflict, but it feels healthy. Yeah. And I mean, instead of ignoring it, you welcome it. Okay, mm -hmm. we welcome it. So, what do you, what have you learned about conflict because of that? that? If you talk through it, you can it can be resolved. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. In a healthy way. In a healthy, In a healthy way. way. Not, not right? yelling and fighting. So, how, okay. So, what would you want people that are watching, parents that are watching, to know about how they're poor handling of conflict to the point of even getting divorced how do you th how what would you want the viewers to know about how that makes children feel watching the conflict um wondering if it's going to be resolved and even just having friends around you that are in divorced families um what do you want the parents and the married people to know about that um like, I kind of said it before. Like, say we're in a happy setting, and then all of a sudden, you know, maybe the child likes the attention, or they like that you guys are talking and we're all together, and then something happens, and then it's over. Uh -huh. So then they go back to being by themselves, or they feel like they're not getting enough attention because you guys argue, and then it's about you guys, not the child, or not the family anymore. Uh -huh. So how, I mean, what do you want, so what do you want the, the couples that are married that do that? What do you want them to know? I guess just um, be aware of maybe it's not the time and place to to 
to resolve it. Mm -hmm. Maybe you see that, or for example, say we're at dinner and we're, ha we're eating and we're having a good time and say an issue does come up and then you can say, okay, we'll talk about it later. So it doesn't ruin the atmosphere, mm -hmm. but then it's still resolved at the end. So it, it's, it has a lot to do with setting the atmosphere, the emotional tone in the atmosphere yeah. for family yeah. in general. Okay. Cy, si, what, what do you, would you say you want parents to know about um, how a child feels if, they, if they've seen it over and over and over again with no resolve? Like you said, we resolved our conflict really fast and that made you feel good. That's why you said good at first, right? And I asked you how it made you feel, you said good you guys resolved it fast but what do you want parents to know um that don't resolve it fast or keep having conflict over and over again in front of you guys what would you want them to know as a child how it impacts you they should let the well not let the child know but like somehow make the child aware that the conflict was resolved if, oh okay. if it was like like don't just have a fight and then like have the child walk away and then like not knowing what happens mm -hmm. they should like play it like later on like if it's dinner time they should they should say something like um i apologize mm -hmm. for the conflict <laughs> or something or i know you guys do it sometimes so say you said something to daddy or daddy said something to you and you didn't like that being said in front of us and then later on uh you, you would say um you remember that conversation? Or I said something to daddy that he didn't like or that he didn't appreciate. And I just, I don't know, you know, just kind of um, address, it. address it. the address issue them. to us and let us know how, make it seem like we have an input mm -hmm. or uh, let us know um, that our feelings toward the issue actually matter mm, okay. instead of y'all just having a conflict, especially if it's in front of us. What do you think will happen to you guys if we never resolved our conflict, we never came back and told you it was, mm -hmm. re was resolved, and we stayed in conflict all the time. We want to be us. You talk about us? Yeah. We want to, I feel like we want to come into your room or like hang out with you guys, like all the th stuff we do. I feel like we would be more isolated to wow. ourselves. So that would cause you to be isolated. Yeah. Or mm -hmm. it gives them room to make assumptions. Mm. Maybe they start okay, maybe it was my fault. Maybe if I never came into the room, they wouldn't have had this issue. Or maybe if I was already downstairs with my mom, they wouldn't have had, you know, they start creating, is it my fault? Mm -hmm. You know, did it something I do? Is it, you know, mm -hmm. they start creating assumptions. Different t different um, perspectives, but they're all just not not a good outcome, right? Mm -hmm. Huh? Your your perspective wasn't a good outcome and her perspective wasn't a good outcome. Oh. Your perspective oh, was oh, yeah, yeah. that it would cause you to be isolated. Sian's perspective was that it would cause her to have some self-doubt and blame. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. So you heard it from the mouths of our children. You heard Sian say, I remember when y'all used to go at it. <laughs> Put us out the room. <laughs> and it's no different now. We've just learned how to to figure out a way that when we have our conflicts and we have our issues, and sometimes they happen in front of our children, but we wanna show our children that we're able, mature couple to resolve our conflicts and then, so it won't impact our kids. Sian is 20, Sai is 14, little D is 10. And we wanna make sure that at, what, at some point when they have families and when they, when they get married, when they have husbands and they have children, then they're gonna take what they saw growing up and make it applicable to their families and so on and so on. And that's how you start to create a new generation of families that are growing up understanding how to deal with their stuff. And it's so deep because what you're saying is true because what we see in counseling is what Sai said and what you said, Sion. So when people get married, if you guys were to get married and you all saw us never resolve conflict or always in conflict, what you would probably do in conflict is isolate yourself. And what you would probably do in conflict is start to blame yourself or come up with your own assumptions about something. 
And that's going to be imposed on your spouse one day because you didn't see anything different. And so why daddy and I had to do it differently and show you guys how to resolve conflict in front of you is so that you don't run from conflict, but that you learn how to resolve it in a healthy way. Who said healthy? You said that? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Some one of you said in a healthy way. And 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 our and Derek's point oh, is that we said positive. No, I said healthy. You oh. said healthy, you said positive. But Derek and I wanted to show that we are not perfect, but we are working on practicing what we teach. So we teach couples how to resolve conflict. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. We teach couples how to resolve conflict, and then people say, "Well, how are they doing?" You know, and and then sometimes it's a little bit of haterism on you all because you all are the kids of the therapists, <laughs> and so you know we really wanted our our viewing audience to see that we're not perfect. There is conflict in this house. You've experienced negative handling of it and healthy handling of it, but you're able to see and tell what would happen or what has happened and how you felt when it wasn't resolved properly. Mm -hmm. And so why, why this is an important segment, this is the family edition of Can We Talk, is because couples fight, they argue, they are in conflict, and they don't realize how it impacts their children. And we've been saying it, but then we thought, what better way to have you all say it? Maybe they'll hear y'all. So talk to the people. <laughs> Talk to him. What you want to tell him? Tell him something. Come on. Tell him on behalf of your friends in school, on behalf of your students that you're an RA for at Oakwood. Talk to the people. Talk to those parents. Go on. Talk to them. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. <laughs> you have to give me something. You got to give, give me give a... your Give your final thoughts about what if you could see some parents. <laughs> if you're, if you, if you, you're you... arguing. What? <sighs> If you're arguing and your children are with you or you start an argument out of nowhere or something like that, you need to be more aware of how your children might be affected. That's wow. all sad. Mm -hmm. My little munchie. Yeah. She basically just gave a summary. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's fine, good. But you can okay. add to. Yes, good. Because you are affected. Because right. they are affected. Mm -hmm. And that's coming from a... A, 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 <laughs> a goofy 14-year-old. That's in high school. That's a high schooler who, who, who is speaking to the voice of teenagers. Now, mm -hmm. Sian, you're, you're 20, you'll be 21 in a couple of months. you got to talk oh, to the voice March of... March 22nd. March 22nd. Send money. <laughs> <laughs> but you're speaking from now and a, a young adult who's about to graduate and move on and go to uh, grad school, school, I'm assuming. Or the oh, of course. Course. You want to go to Marie um, Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to the Marie yeah, go to Marie I'm going to the Navy. <laughs> huh? You even know the difference. <laughs> You've been cast away from the McCullum family. And just maybe Never. <laughs> no offense, really. Where's I? Man. We love you all, too. Oh. So Where from from that? a perspective <laughs> of a young adult, mm -hmm. And you are you're you're, the, you're a child of parents who can resolve conflict. But what is the impact? What would the impact be on you if we weren't working this thing out? And what would you say to parents of young adults who may still be in turmoil? Or... That it impacts just com communication in general. Because we see the way you guys communicate and in college and friends and relationships and teachers and jobs and everything. Um, when it comes to conflict, some people don't know how to handle it. Mm -hmm. So then they, it just, you know, turns into a mess. What do they do? What do, what do they they don't handle it. So what are some things that... They internalize it. Well, what else do they do? They post how they feel mm. on social media. They won't. Um, they won't address the problem to the person. That's what right. we do a lot. We mm. address it to other people, mm -hmm. but we don't address it to the to the main person that's causing the issue. Mm -hmm. um, right. And sometimes, sometimes it's that it's not they're not they're immature. They don't know how to or 
um, they're they're afraid. they're afraid. They don't know how they're gonna react, mm -hmm. or um, too many people are in the situation, and mm -hmm. yeah. Here's the thing, Sian said they are afraid. Most young people are afraid to talk to their parents because of their parents' way of thinking, of of how they their, how they the culture, and and most kids don't want to come and talk to the parents. Thus you have suicide. Thus you have all the other things mm, that the poor depression, co depression, drug use, drug use, pregnancies. And it's because they are afraid to mm -hmm. talk to the parents. Mm -hmm. So parents, make it safe for your child to come to you and be open and don't cut them off and hear what they got to say and listen to their feelings and see if you can, mm. you know, all those things are, and you're hearing it from them. This is what we do as a profession, but you're hearing from our children who have friends that, that are experiencing some heavy duty stuff. And I so, just want to say on this Thanksgiving family edition, I'm very thankful that God has shown us how to get it right because you all stay in our room all the time. We can't get rid of y'all, <laughs> <laughs> you know? And, 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 and I have to honestly say that when I get annoyed, I have to catch myself because there are people that have children they would do anything for them to come in their room and spend time in their space. Um, and they don't because right. of those reasons. And so I really want to say thank you guys for being annoying. <laughs> <You're also laughs> it, just, mommy. it just means that you all love us <laughs> enough to be around us all the time. I've never seen kids that want to be around their parents all the time. You know, they, they hear us get up. Oh, they're, they're up. And I'm like, what? Can I brush my teeth? That's like this morning. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you were like, is it Christmas? Is it Christmas? Why are, why are you in they, here? Why are they hovering? Why is Sai coming here? Hey, good morning. Well, you'll hear, you'll hear, oh, some, you'll hear Lil D say, they're up. Right. <laughs> Like they're scoping us. And and honestly, I have to say that, you know, it's not too late to, to try to develop that relationship with your children. If your children don't want to be around you, it's not because of them, it's because of you. Gary, can you sleep? See, that was a profound thing I just said. I'm sorry. And you missed you up just, the flow. Just messed that whole thing Okay, up. say it again. If your children don't want to be around be you, groove. it's not because of the <laughs> child, it's because of you. Don't throw off his groove. <laughs> the children were made to be around their parents and they're gravitating. I mean, of course, they have their friends and their right. social life. They weren't around. They went out, what, yesterday? Y'all were gone. You were Melanie's gone. House. You were gone. You know? No, I was here. No. You went out the whole Jordan. day? Thursday. No, I'm sorry. No. Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, you were gone. I was gone. <laughs> you were gone and you were gone. And Lil D was here playing with Buzz Lightyear. Huh? Show Buzz. Show the view, viewing audience who you were here with. <laughs> yeah, show them, show them. Hold it up. <laughs> Lil D was here with Buzz. Huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and he was okay with that. And he was he would come in and he would sit around us and hang out with us and then uh, go do his thing. Why do you work yeah, that's a good point. You know? So and I and I have to say that because a lot of times you you know, parents are like, Why can't I get my kid to talk to me? It's something you have to you have to make it safe. Right. That's it. You have to show them that conflict is real, it's healthy, it can be resolved, and resolve your conflict. If you don't know how to resolve it, we'll help you. That's why we're doing these vlogs. Right. So I just had to say thank you, children. I love yeah. you all. Yeah, we love you. We love you too. Take good care of yourselves. Take good care of your family. Take good care of your children. They're a blessing. Peace. Bye. So now that you know, what, what you gonna, gonna do with, with it? it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you say cheese and that's the it. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> 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 This is for you, Daddy. When you're vlog, when you're editing the vlog, you can listen to this. And this is past I. So when you're listening to it, show it to me, okay? Show it to me. I want to watch this video and see it. I